Alright fish people, hope you're all doing well and in today's video we're going to look at the fish that I bought from Pier Aquatics when I went last week. So, we bought four fish, two of them were planned and two of them were total impulse buys, I'm not going to lie to you guys. Um, I'd already pre-bought the two that I was going to buy, so I paid for them about nearly a month ago and I'd arranged to have them shipped over, but the temperatures weren't great at night, so... I decided in the end to go over, obviously last week, get the tour done and I had credit because I'd paid for shipping. So when they said to me, do you want to put the money back on the card, I'm not going to go and pay with credit guys and not spend it. And I tell you now, nobody would believe me. So I did spend it. So what we'll do is we'll jump into the video, I'll show you what I bought and we'll talk a little bit about what impulse bought I made as well and what my plans are with these fish and going forward. So let's get right into the video, guys. Okay, guys, here they are. It's two uh, Bumblebee Oscars. So Astronautus, Crassy Pinnis, and in the background you will see the Impulse Bites, which are the Waru Cichlids. So there is also two Mayonnae in there. They just keep the tank cycled more than anything. And I've put an extra sponge in there just because I've got four fish in here. But anyway, this is what I bought, guys. And you will have seen them in the video that I did last week on the tour. Now, the response we got to that fish store tour was unbelievable. We actually hit 1,000 views in less than 24 hours. And that's quite very, very good for this channel. So, but yeah, I have been planning buying these fish for a while. I, you know, I bought two just because... I think the tank that I'll be setting up will be probably a five foot by two foot by two foot. And I think two's enough with obviously other South American fish. I did impulse buy the two Wari, which you can see at the back. And I'll tell you the reason for that is because when I bought these fish, obviously I paid for shipping, which I said, and I had credit. So I was going to buy a small flag tail, but they didn't have any in and they always have them in. So I was in a bit of a position where I thought, oh no, I've got to buy a new fish. Uh, I've got to spend this money. Um, don't get me wrong, I would have been adding, adding a couple of waru to this tank going forward anyway, so that isn't a problem of impulse bought the right fish. I did consider the panda waru, which you would have seen in the other video, but the time wasn't right just because, due to the fact that they're very, very temperamental, and if... You know, I'm bringing them from harder water to zero KH, and then in a couple of weeks, a few weeks, I'm moving house, so I'm moving them again. So I just didn't want to risk it. Obviously, I could have bought some wild sevs, but they always have wild sevs in. And also, Joe said to me, why don't you get another one of these Oscars? Now, I, don't, I wouldn't buy just three. I never just buy three. So I would have bought four, and I didn't have enough room. But a funny story, I, I uploaded some videos of these fish on Insta, and then I did my shop tour on YouTube. And the amount of people who messaged me to tell me they were going buying some of these, uh, I got a follower called Kev, who I've been speaking to quite a lot and have met. And Kev messaged me the other day. He went and bought two. Now he's told me there is none left. So that backfired on me. But not to worry. I've got two. And I'm really, really happy with that. Um, I'm just going to throw some pellets in, guys. So I'm doing this one-handed. So bear with me. So they, obviously, as Oscars go, are just vivacious eaters. They're aggressive eaters. But the Waru are good eaters as well. You know, what you tend to find is with Oscars, they'll just load the mouths up with as much pellets as they possibly can and then but that's good is when they start crunching on them they will the bits that will come out the waru and the other fish in the tank will eat this oscar is the bigger of the two and he's um a little bit bigger i'd say than he's probably about five inches and she's probably about four inches uh, but yeah they are the bumblebee oscars they are um the astronautus crassy pinnis and someone who's kept Oscars for nearly 30 years, I have never had this one. And I've had a few wild-caught Oscars. They are wild-caught, and at this moment in time, I've totally forgot what the, the catch location is. So I will put that on the screen. Um, and she's got a few marks on her just from a bit of fighting with him. I said she. I don't even know why I said she then, because I'm not even a she. We don't know. They're not easy to sex Oscars until they actually pair off or you vent them. And I'm not a fan of venting fish, if I'm honest with you, unless... Unless I really have to. But yeah, she'll be alright with a bit of clean water. And then the Waru are doing great. 
you know I love a waru on this channel and you know just after I had COVID I took a pair on and I had to get rid of them which was sad so we'll just grow these ones up along with these beautiful Oscars and the setup that we're going to get I don't actually know what I'm going to put in there you know it's only going to be about a five by two so I, I can't add that many more fish so there's, there's a few choices obviously like I said some wild serves possibly panda waru I'm not sure how panda waru would do with these Oscars though to be fair um, but time will tell we have got plenty of time I just wanted to get these bought I wanted to get these because I didn't want to regret not buying them so like I said you know they, they'd been in there a while and time was running out and you know so and there's none left now there's none left now so i did the right thing even if that might have been my fault so yeah i'm sure you'll agree they're beautiful they're absolutely stunning there is and i don't you know there is if you if you research this fish it will tell you they grow to about 10 inches but i know people who have them bigger than that so i know a guy who's got a couple that are about 14 inches so they can grow bigger i think them size guides are not always full on i always say to people they're probably more of an average um, a lot may grow to 10 inches but just be aware that I know people who have them bigger so yeah so yeah no really happy with them and, and like I said a bucket lift fish to me it's been too long it's been too long for me not to have any South American cichlids I know I've got a couple of South American fish but you know I always knew I would go back to doing this when the especially when these came along I think I talked at the, um, the end of Last year it might have been about this being a bucket list fish for me and when they do come available I would have to, you know, pull the trigger and get some. So, but no, really happy and I need to get them on a good diet guys. I'm feeding them nothing at the moment and, you know, I've just thrown all them pellets in. They've wolfed them down and they want more and they will continue to eat. I want to keep them off the shitty foods that are full of fillers. So I'm going to make sure they get a good diet because you can really, really bring some nice orange out on these um and a, a lad i know called jacob who i keep blaming jacob for the fact i bought these because he bought some i will pin some pictures onto this video now just to show you what his look like right now and they are phenomenal he has got an amazing account guys on insta go and check him out but i'll just give you a little sneaky i'm just giving you a little sneaky look it is beautiful um um, Bumblebee Oscars and he's had them a while so this is what they look like when they settle in and if mine is half as nice as that I'll be happy so yeah guys there they are they're fantastic they're in quarantine and they're doing great you know this one in particular is a boisterous bit of a nightmare if I'm honest but that's what Oscars do and I think they help the Waru to be honest with you I think because they're out and about I, if, they, if them Oscars were in the tank I think the Waru would be probably a little bit more nervous but they're not settling in nice and these mayonnaise, like I said, they're just fish to keep the tank cycle. There's a couple of them in there. So, yeah, that is the current situation. They're the fish that I bought from Pear Guys. And, you know, I know a lot of people sort of, like said, had wound them up with the way I left the video and left you hanging. But that's just a bit of fun. It's just a bit of fun. And I'm sure if you know me, you probably knew what I bought anyway. And these are what they are. So yeah, we'll do up video update videos going forward on them, guys. And you'll get to see these grow into decent sized fish. And hopefully in a nice South American set setup. But we are moving house, guys, very, very soon. Everything's on the dotted line. Everything's signed. And we're just waiting for all the legalities to go through and someone to say, yes, you can have your keys. So I have I have sort of like we are going to do two months notice on this house we don't have to but we're going to because we want to move one tank at a time i don't want to be rushing this and i've got 10 tanks to move um so and i do have uh, a fish room in the new house plus a couple more rooms where i can set tanks up in so if i can double what i've got and get to 20 eventually i think i'll be happy with that but you know we're going to do some breeding we're going to have a couple of hospital tanks but we'll have a really good amount of tanks to really showcase this hobby off and we can do something different central american south american and who knows who knows even venture into something very different because with that many tanks you have the ability and the choices to make to do that so the next one guys is going to be the south american setup but it's going to be a pain we have to be patient because it's going to take a few weeks just just because we're waiting to move more than anything but as soon as we have we can start setting that up and 
showcasing these beautiful, beautiful Bumblebee B Oscars off. And if you like your Bumblebee Oscars, guys, and you're on Insta, there's a couple of accounts you should go and check out. And that's JW Tanks, which is Jacob, which I told you about. There's Martin Fish Keepers, which is Randy. He's got what we call the beehive. He's got a fair few big ones in his tank. And then there's Thomas Cavate, who he's got two that are a pair as well to show Keisha if you want to go and see them. But I'm going to shut up rabbiting on now, guys. They are my Bumblebee Oscars. They are my Waru. And we'll go and wrap this video up now. Okay, hope you enjoyed that. And I'm sure you'll agree I made a fantastic choice in the fish that I went for. And we're always a safe bet when we're impulse buying Waru's. And yeah, anyway, guys, I just want to say a massive, massive thank you for all the support. We did it 2,000 subscribers last week. And you know what? That is such an absolute... It's just brilliant. I never thought I'd even get to a thousand never mind two thousand so massive massive thank you from in there because it means so much we do have a lot of great support on this channel there is so many nice people in this hobby and I appreciate you all so much so yeah guys thank you so much and obviously if you're not subscribed to the channel already please consider subscribing all you've got to do is dead easy just press the subscribe button ping the bell for notifications so you know when any new videos are uploaded so guys, I'm going to leave it there and I will see you on the next one.